Hey, Bubs. Hey, what's up, guys? Back with the game here today. Uh, in the machine for the first time. Some of you may have seen the screenshot already. Kind of a spoiler, but I'm fine with it. Uh, two things to note for this video, unfortunately. Uh, during this game, my capture card... I don't know. It, it didn't... It, it, the file was basically corrupted for it. It was all blurry and kind of fuzzy and all that fun stuff. So... Had to go back to the old school way. I wasn't gonna let this game just kind of fade into oblivion So I basically just had to use it as a twitch clip. So I was streaming and it clipped it on twitch so The quality is a little less and you also will probably hear me talking from the stream uh, Every once in a while Luckily, I don't talk that much uh, on stream when it comes to games like this uh, especially when they come down to the more intense parts I end up focusing a lot so I end up going real quiet which is good for this but even right now you may start hearing me talk a little bit twice so just kind of ignore that try to focus on me right now but yeah so we finally finished the machine grind about well I say finish um, about two weeks ago and the way I finished it was I did the first nine stages and then for the tenth stage, I knew I probably wasn't going to uh, get it, to be fair. Uh, there were about 40 days left and I know what summer's like for me right now. I don't play nearly as much. So the chance of me getting 500,000 XP and playing just those same tanks over and over again wasn't going to happen. So uh, I bought... Really good. Oh, here we go. Just me talking over me. I mean, it's probably not as painful. I'll just take a short break. Uh, but the tusk. But for okay. me, it's painful. We'll wait for Turkey to shut up, the and then I'll get right back yeah, to you. I don't mind playing other classes, but I'm, you know, obviously like my lights. <laughs> so just playing for that long. Eh. I didn't even do the last stage. I got lucky with crates. Got a whole bunch of gold, so I was able to skip it. Luckily. But uh, okay, back with me. Uh, current me. Uh, <laughs> so basically I bought seven uh, of the crates as I failed miserably at penning or even oh, aiming was. at a 46 patent. But I bought seven crates, the whatever the highest one is, and just the hope that I got some repeat premium tanks and got a bunch of gold, which, pro tip, if you have premium tanks, don't sell them, because if you get a crate and you get that tank in, you get its price in gold. Uh, so I recommend not selling any premium tanks anymore. Just never do that. Uh, I'm guilty of doing it in the past before that. Still not a great idea ever, but yeah. But what ended up happening is I got two of the HMH-58s back-to-back out of two of those crates. So that gave me about 22,000 gold. So I was able to skip the last stage uh, on this grind for 17,000 gold. Because I knew I wanted to get this tank... One, because I know it's good, and two, I wanted to show some gameplay of it for you guys in the future. And uh, here we are. So, that's it. It's got the Hall chassis of the 50B. I think it's all fairly well known. It's been out for a while. But I'll just go over a little bit if you haven't seen it. Um, whoa. Uh, turret of the Chieftain. And it's got the TVPs autoloader. But slightly unnerfed version. So basically the way I would put it is it's the TVP's gun after the first nerf to the TVP. So it has it all kitted out, 25 second reload. Versus the TVP now has a 28 second reload uh, all kitted out. So basically yeah, it's a better TVP. Uh, yeah, makes sense, right guys? Um, yeah, you can see the maneuverability of it and that autoloader is fantastic. I love the TVP's gun. Even now, I know the reload on it is just awful. But the fact that I can play a little bit of what it used to be in this tank and actually better because this thing has kind of ridiculous armor for what how fast it is. Uh, it's nice. Uh, I really like playing that tank. So it's nice to get a little bit of that feeling back. And so far we've in this game, we've kind of done a fairly decent job so far. Uh, the one clip on the 
46 patent I'd like to have back and some of these shots I'd like to have back. I'm still trying to get used to this tank a little bit. I've played maybe 20 games in it or so, something like that. So just trying to get my head around how to play it again. And yeah, so it's a fun tank. Uh, it's definitely worth the grind. Though at this point, you're not going to finish the grind unless you just completely play nothing but tanks for 40 days straight. Because I think there's only 40 or 35 days left on the contract. So if you haven't already started and made significant progress on it, and you're probably stage 9 or on stage 10, on you're location. probably not going to finish this. So just a warning, you probably, unless you have a, yeah, a ton of free time or a crap ton of gold and I mean a little crap like probably over 100,000 uh, <laughs> I'd wait to get this until probably the next time which kind of sucks but it is what it is you're not going to finish this grind in the time they have right now it's not going to happen so I think I fired an HE clip at some point I didn't even notice it uh, I think it was right there actually because I'm an idiot. So, yeah. Don't know why that happened. Kind of stupid. But hey. We all make mistakes. And we get to take out the already regardless. But you see, this game's kind of funky at this point. They're all kind of in the ditch in the middle. Um, right there. So at this point, I was kind of hoping maybe one of them would back up back into the cap circle and I could at least put those two shots in but now I see that they're not going to do that and they're all going to overwhelm that guy and they have two tier 10 heavies uh tier 8 oh sorry they have three tier 10 heavies the i7 is kind of on its own chilling but and the t28 as well so two two tier 8s and three tier 10s left and right now it's a 3v Five. We're gonna be a little risky. They all the three heavies pushed up right here, and they're a little separated. So we're gonna take advantage of that and hopefully flip this guy out for one one shot of damage. And we're able to get right through his front plate because there's not much. Yeah, tier eight tanks have no help against this. And if you didn't notice right there, uh, our two teammates died right before we killed him. So this will be a call of battles opportunity. And at this point, I'm just trying to get away and separate myself from these guys and get myself to the high ground. We're probably going to eat some shots here. Uh, it's a strong possibility. But we're going to try to put them in an awkward situation, and we're going to get an ideal shot right here. 277, we're going to track them upwards, make it so he can't really do any damage to us. Uh, here, I'm going to have to eat a shot from the ISM, but it's a necessary evil to get away. I can't just sit there and use my armor. They're going to keep pushing me. They know I'm reloading. Uh, but the good thing is I had the maneuverability. Um, and again, that's very key in these kind of endgame situations at this point. I know I said vision is great in light tanks, but maneuverability is also fantastic in its own right. And I probably still kind of control... No, I probably don't control vision. This is only a two per crew in this right now. There's only six cents and brothers in arms, so the very basics. But... We're going to use our maneuverability that we do have to reposition and try to get into a more advantage. A position that's more to an advantage to us than just trying to brawl it out with them and try to use, I guess, ambush tactics. That's the fun of uh, auto loaders, is to try to catch people out. The only unknown that we have right now, uh, I see it. know the E5 is a two shot. I know the ISM we could probably clip out. Uh, it's about 1200, 1300 health, so it was kind of a gamble. But with the RNG event right now, which I kind of like, by the way. Uh, yeah, see, he's he's a clip, so I know I'm not going to lower right now. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to be able to clip him out in one go. The only unknown is the IS-7. The last I kind of glimpsed at him, I think he was full health. But that's, yeah, we don't know. So that's the only thing I'm a little worried about at this point in the game. That's no shit. But Thank you. I know I can kind of 
run around safely over here. Even I've run through the I-7, I know I can eat at least a shot from him. Technically two. Um, but I'd rather uh, not yeah, sure, obviously eat shots because you know, having nearly 1,100 hit points at this obviously. point in the game in an autoloader is deadly because you can trade. Um, huge benefit of saving your hit points in these autoloaders uh, towards the end of the game if you find yourself in these type of situations where you can still possibly carry the game out for your team. Uh, at this point, I kind of want to get into a spot where I'm overlooking the cap. And I can also spot over to the other side. I was thinking maybe the IS-7 was over there. Maybe. I don't know. I do have the heat loaded at this point. Uh, I think it's the first time I've touched it all game. And that's just because I don't know if I'm going to run into these guys frontally. And I just don't want to deal with uh, non-pens at this point. So a little awkward here. We could have maybe feathered a shot uh, into the E5 or one of them. But it also probably would have gave our position away. So it actually almost pays out or works out here in the end. Because we're going to spot the E5 and for some reason uh, he's just going to keep looking that way. There's two tanks in the cap so I'm guessing that's the IS-7. And then this is Lockheed. And we track and take out the E5. So great shot uh, getting a gun off the board there. Uh, now I Can basically know that it is the I-7 in the Christ. cap at this point in the game. Uh, just because I know the I-7 was still kind of up on the ridge line last time I saw him. I don't think I saw him go down in, so I'm fairly certain at this point that it is the I-7, and sure enough, it is. We spot the I-7, but we try to snap some shots into him. Unfortunately, they don't come off. It's whatever. So at this point, we know where they're both at, which is great for us. And we see the ISM kind of pushing around that way. Focus on this location. So I'm actually going to go towards him. Though, I'm not it's too worried about habit. a tier 8. <laughs> uh, it kind of looked like he was going this way, but maybe he's not. Reload. And we're going to go down with our heat loaded and hopefully try to clip somebody out. Uh, now we see there's only one in the cap. And actually, we spot the IS-7, who was a one-shot, and we take him out. So now I basically know where the ISM is coming from. Uh, and he's coming up through there as our fun, as our friend lets us know, even though I kind of already know that myself. And we're going for the reload. At this point, I probably... I'm actually impressed that he tends that, but he's just going to charge right at us. We had the heat to reload it, and we're not going to really bounce any of these. Let's get our side. Kind of not ideal. But I know he's, we're going to beat his reload, and we're going to take him out and finish off the call of Banoffs for yeah, our ninth kill. And just a smidge over 8,000 damage. So, a great first gameplay to put of the machine That's on the nice. channel. Not quite the review. <laughs> But oh, that was cool. I'm not really a review okay. type person usually unless it's premium tanks. Didn't know it was cool. I do recommend this tank. <laughs> uh, if the grind or if the contract is re-released, because at this point it's probably not worth it uh, to invest the time into it. But that's just kind of my opinion. But it's a really fun tank to play. Uh, it's a little broken if you ask me. But... We're just going to keep that quiet because, well, the TVP has been nerfed to hell. So I'm a little all right with that. <laughs> My cap card's fucked. Fantastic. Find everybody's favorite opinion. But, yeah. Uh, really enjoy the tank. Uh, it's really good for those carry situations. I think you could do a lot of damage in it. I've seen some 11,000, 12,000, 11,000 damage games in this for some people I know. Because it just carries so much ammo. Well, I'm say, um, well, 28 premium rounds, yeah, but I carry, was it, six, 72 rounds of ammo almost, I think it is. So usually I don't even carry HE clips, but yeah, this time I do. So, fun tank, fun game, and uh, hopefully my capture card will work next time. Uh, see ya.